Why Should You Go Vegan? by Athena M. Johnson. What is veganism? Veganism is where you eat no animal products, meaning no cheese, meaning no meat, meaning no eggs, etc. Going vegan is becoming a very popular trend and lifestyle today. It has, it has had a 600% increase over just the last few years. In 2014, the average population that was vegan was about 0.6 to 1%. In 2016, it was about 6% of the population that was vegan. That's a huge increase. So the real question is, if this lifestyle is growing so quickly, what is the cause of this movement? Global warming is another reason why the veganism lifestyle is increasing in popularity. Global warming is where um, the atmosphere has a lot of gas buildup, like with methane, and this stops the sun rays from leaving our atmosphere, causing the earth to heat up. And animal agriculture is actually the second highest source for greenhouse gases. Not only that, it, it's mainly from the cows because of the methane, but other animals include because of the deforestation is another huge cause for the global warming. And 70% of deforestation is actually caused by animal agriculture. So this is one of the main reasons that people are going vegan is because of global warming. And here is some uh, diagrams, I would say, of the examples of you know, the animal agriculture and how it affects certain things, like how much water you actually use when you eat cows, cow or steak or whatever. So those are just some good diagrams to take a look at. Human health is also being destroyed by animal products. Do you know all pandemic diseases were actually caused by eating animals? According to the sentinmedia.org, many of the worst zoonic diseases comes from domesticated animals, not wild ones. For example, the 1918 Spanish flu partially evolved inside poultry farms. Another example of a pandemic disease that was caused by eating animals is the H1N1, which was found in pigs, and the virus killed around 575,400 people alone. Another issue that arises by eating animal products is antibiotic resistance. Since um, animals are in such bad health in factory farms, they are usually pumped with antibiotics just to stay alive. Those antibiotics are transferred from their meat into our bodies, making us slowly more antibiotic resistant. And this will gravely affect our future when fighting bad, like bad diseases. In addition to this, animal products are the number one cause for heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and more. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the world, according to the World Health Organization. It is also the leading cause of the death's death in the U.S., according to the CDC, which states that diets high in saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol have been linked to heart disease and related conditions. Uh, the mechanics uh, underlying most heart diseases, trans fats, and cholesterol can only be found in animal foods, according to Stuart Hadley. Along with this, people's health is greatly improving by removing animal products. By removing animal products, it decreases the risk for all of these diseases. This is another reason why veganism is growing in the United States. The third reason veganism is important is because of the cruel animal agriculture farming methods. There are many animal animals in the agriculture industry, but I will talk about the treatment of a few of them. For example, cows, pigs, and chickens. The National Humane Education reports that in order to keep cows producing milk, they need to give birth every year. Not only this, but when cows give birth, they are separated from their calves within 24 hours of birth. Since you, since humans, they drink the milk, so the babies will not be able to share the milk because the companies want to make the most money off the cow. When their children are, their children are usually placed in almost complete isolation. Many mothers go into a deep depression. Not only this, but when the mothers are no longer able to produce milk, they are killed. Dairy cows are also never allowed to graze on the grass. This just shows how cruel the dairy industry is. Pigs are some of the most intelligent animals on the planet. They are more intelligent than a three-year-old child. These amazing animals are kept in small cages. The mother pigs don't even have room to turn around, only to lay down and, or stand up. She barely gets to look at her piglets when she has children. Pigs fight till their last breath, literally. Pigs are forced into gas chambers. As the independent says, for at least 15 seconds, the animals thrash around, desperately screaming in pain and gasp for breath, while the gas acidifies their eyes, nostrils, mouths, and lungs. As the CO2 penetrates their entire system, they scramble to try to escape, panicked and distressed. It is basically the holocaust all over, but instead of a, re a religion, it's a different species. It's shocking because the pigs, they know they're going to die. The reason they have to go in gas chambers is because that the pigs fight till their last breath. They're forced to go. That's it all. Chickens live in extremely small spaces, and almost always in the dark. If, a chick if the eggs say free range, it just means the animals are in a large indoor room with thousands of other chickens. Disease spreads quickly in these places, and many chickens get so ill they can barely move. When chicks hatch, males are useless to the industry as they can't lay eggs, so they are thrown around a conveyor belt where they commonly break bones, and they either get their necks twisted 
and they get thrown in a trash bag, or they literally get thrown in a grinder alive. Those are just a few of the things that happen to these helpless animals, and the government allows this cruelty. But just because they allow it doesn't ma make it right. The, this is another cause for the increase of veganism. People don't want to support the killing of animals. Lastly, people are going vegan because they're realizing that they're not necessarily carnivores, or even omnivores. In reality, if you look at a human's digestive system, you notice that we are a lot more sim similar to herbivores. First, let's state the obvious. Our teeth, if you look at a side-by-side -side picture, you'll notice our teeth are a lot more similar to a herbivore rather than a carnivore or even an omnivore. Not only this, but our nails are a lot softer and not made for tearing flesh. Now going more in depth, if you look at the stomach acidity, omnivores and carnivores have a pH of less than 1, while if you look at a herbivore in humans, they have a pH of about 4 to 5. Not only this, but uh, herbivore and humans, they have really long intestines, while omnivores and carnivores have really small intestines. Those are just a few of the differences between humans and omnivores, really showing that humans are definitely more leaning on the side of a herbivore than an omnivore. This is one of the other reasons why people are going vegan today. Many people may say that we get a lot of our vitamins from animal products, but not surprisingly, plants have all the vitamins we need. The reason animals have these vitamins, for example cows, is because they get them from plants, and when we eat the cows, we get a diluted version of that vitamin. In reality, if you eat plant-based, you should be able to get all the vitamins if you eat a balanced diet. Another reason some people are reluctant to go vegan is because of the price. But a study took a deep dive into the diets of 1,072 people living in different parts of the country, and it found that on average, meat eaters spend $23 more per week on grocery groceries than vegetarians or vegans. Another reason people are reluctant to go vegan is because they think they'll lose their favorite foods. But any food can be made vegan if you try hard enough, and a lot of foods have already been made vegan. Keep in mind though that if you would buy all the vegan junk food, it would definitely be more expensive. But if you get things like whole grains, it's definitely going to be a lot cheaper. Not everyone can go vegan. This is true in some cases, but that doesn't mean that people who can go vegan shouldn't try. I'm not saying everyone has to go vegan, I'm saying that they should try for the environment, animals, and human health as a whole. Feel free to check out my book uh, about how to successfully transition into a vegan diet. Overall, veganism is growing in the United States, and for many positive reasons, like animal welfare, health, environmental factors, global warming, and more. Along with all the vegan alternatives today, it's making it more, it's making it easier than ever to transition to a vegan diet. Maybe it's time for you to hop on this trend, as it has many benefits not only for people, but the animals and the environment. Please check out my works cited page. Thank you for listening to my presentation.